I'm just gonna be a softie and I'm gonna take my man on a date because he's a king. You know what I mean? He's a king. No, seriously, I'm gonna go take him to see um Queen and Slim because his name is Slim. I nicknamed him Slim when we first met in high school. I was like, I'm gonna call you Slim. We were so cakey. I swear, like our first little meeting is like so cakey. Comment down below if you want a story time on the first time we met and like how we got together. Cause it's like really cute. It's really cute. Okay, you guys, I'm just gonna go in. I already prepped and primed and all of that stuff. And I'm just gonna go in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow Highlighter in Bronze. Um, I was really thinking about putting this on the top of my makeup, but that scares me. So I'm just going to put it underneath my makeup and see what it gives my foundation. What kind of like, cause I got matte foundation because even though I want to glow, I don't want my skin looking like wet or oily. Whoa! Uh, tin man. So as you can tell, I never use this product and a little goes a long way. Alright, so right now I'm just taking the eyebrow pencil and doing hair like strokes so it can be um, less defined when you have a defined brow you just draw lines and then fill in um, what I'm doing here is making it very soft and airy looking so it looks more like hair um yeah doing this voiceover because I couldn't explain that very well while doing it Because, um, sis, I live with no brows all my life. I'm not gonna be wearing makeup and no brows. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna move on to foundation. You guys, I went and got a new foundation color, and this is 338 Spicy Brown. Let's hope for the best. I think this is a cool color. I'm satisfied with it. Let's just see how it sets, settles, and all that. Jizzy, jizzy, jizz. The concealer I'm gonna go in with is my 16 hour camo oak concealer. Um, in the color Deep Chestnut. like your cheek you always go up here on up you always go back and then here you go down and then always like 
blending those two blends together with an eyeliner and contour me. Right here is some funny shit going on because of gel and grease and all of that. So, ladies, do your edges after. <clears throat> I just didn't want to come up on here like that and show y'all that hot mess because it's a hot mess. So I have the Too Faced Do You Fresh Glow Translucent Setting Powder and Radiant Caramel. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that I'm blended out as well as on my eyes. So it comes like this, which is cool because I don't know if you guys know, but I hate when I open my powder and then it gets everywhere. I have a fucking fit. That's why I don't use Aerosmith powder like that because once you get rid of the puffy, it's just a hot ass mess and then you have a peel. And it says, you're all set. Too Faced, you're all set. I love a little shit like that because it makes me happy or whatever. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I'm scared to set my whole entire face with this because it is. Let's just do it. Fuck it. I ain't scared of shit. Did you hear me? Oh my gosh. I really like how it's like a blanket and not. See that? Okay, let's just see. Let's start with our chin. Let's set our chin first. Now this setting powder would be marvelous for um, summer because you'll be glowy as fuck. It's not summer, so it's just not. Um, yeah. Well, I got a good color. I'm gonna move on. When you see me smiling like that, that's nervous smile. That's not like a I'm super excited smile. That's like. Ah! Oh, I do have to come from my nose, so I'm gonna do that. this stuff away with my Morphe M4 one brush. This what this basically does is highlight you before you can highlight you. And I do a double take with Dusting my face off because sometimes the setting powder sticks to you, especially when you bake. So you just want to make sure that everything is dusted away properly. And then I'm just going to go in with my 102 Silk Finish Brush and um, blend everything. Make sure I don't want I don't even know if I want to do highlighter because I don't even know why I did this. Okay, so I did turn the flash on just so you guys can see like how it looks with the flash. But um, this is the Too Faced <coughs> Chocolate Bon Bon Salad. Um, I'm going to go in with this brown here <coughs> and that fluffy brush and just put that my grease as good as I can and just put it directly where your crease is I don't want to <coughs> go into mocha and just try to like blend that out <laughs> And then I'm going to use Divinity to, to highlight my brow bone. You usually don't like using those colors like that because I feel like they're more targeted towards like the lighter women. 
and I would use a lid color that is really close to my um, highlighting color. So I'm just going to go in with the thinnest line. Because I know the pigmentation is crazy on this one. Okay. Alright, um, I think that's thin enough. And you see the differences. Don't look at me like you don't. Okay, you guys. So, the lashes I am putting on today are from Every Lashes. Don't look at the packaging. Like, I had this for forever. And I was supposed to then do this, but shit's been crazy. But, um,. <clears throat> These are the new and improved two pairs of every lashes. I know it looks like you've seen one before because you have, but it's slightly different. So let me read you guys the card that they sent to me. I do think that you will receive this card because it is not um, specially written out to me. So this one says, hey gorgeous, hope you loved your new 3D Fox Meek lashes new 3d okay fox minks lashes why 3d fox mink lashes lashes are stacked in layers for added depth and dimension extra light and fluffy for comfortability that is facts all day wear their lashes feel like you don't even have lashes on like you're just blinking anyways fox mink fibers blend better with your real lashes for a softer more natural look and 100 percent cruelty free so we have our first pair of lashes, which is the, okay. Which is the nine to five. Okay, so these lashes may look full, but we promise they're natural looking and fluffy. Perfect to wear to the office and short enough that they won't get in the way if you wear glasses. Oh my glasses, girls. Just be sure to trim the band to fit your eye. And then we have Girls Night Out, which you guys know about Girls Night Out um, 3D. Um, the new and improved Girls Night Out still are boldest style, but because they're 3D Fox Mink, they're lighter and wispier with just the right amount of volume. Of course, you know you can shop at Every Lash, www.everylash.com, and Every Lash is spelled E R V Y. And I'll just put it right there for you guys to see that. Um, um, I'm actually going to show, compare, and show you the difference because I don't try to think like I'm just talking my shit, but I did my research. Every Lashes is known for the very natural kind of look of them, um, which I love. Um, but these are the regular original ones, and then these are the 3D mink ones. Can you see this? Can you see the difference? I'll actually even take one lash out and show you how like they are stacked and everything because they're totally different. And I did wear one of these lashes because I couldn't wait. <laughs> I just threw them on. I couldn't wait for the tutorial, but pop these on. And maybe I should do like a side by side with those two. Like, that is the new and improved one. And then this is the regular, the older version of this. They look way more realistic on this eye. This eye looks like a lot going on. Of course, you guys should know to use code CHINYURAY15. Use code CHINYURAY15 because you just always will get monies off. Okay, sis, save a coin, save a life. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my glue on these. I'm gonna go ahead with the Better Than Sex Must. Yeah. I never put mascara on before lashes just because I feel like it doesn't simplify things for me. It complicates them. But let's just see. 
the lashes on, shall we? Gorgeous. Of course, my eyes are watering because my eyes are the Satan in my life currently. So, you guys, I'm gonna head and do mascara off um, camera because nobody wants to see me doing this, making ugly faces in the screen for five minutes. Uh, so, I'm gonna go ahead and bronze with my bronzer because I haven't even bronzed my face yet. And I'm just gonna show y'all how amazing my bronzer is because, I mean, this is. I try to hide this greatness from the world because I don't think y'all ready for it. But, yeah, with that just bronzer on today because it's a bronzery day. Look at Look at that. Oh, it makes me so brown, you guys. And y'all, y'all know I love being brown. Brown skin girl. Skin is like pearl. No, like seriously, I love being fucking brown. Okay, so. We didn't put some brown, I mean blush it up because blush gives you that like really healthy look, but don't blush it up too much. Sometimes too much blush, blush can turn into a disaster. Trust me, no one's hating on you sis. Too much blush and bronzer is a disaster. This is better than sex mascara. I can admit I was asleep. Now one thing I can admire is a real bitch who admits. I admit that I was asleep on this. Um, the next thing would be highlight. I'm gonna use this white one, cause vanilla, cause I've been thinking about vanilla since I bought it. So let's see how vanilla looks on my skin. I mean, of course those two are pretty, but vanilla was giving me that reflex that I was just like, this is gonna set my skin on fire. Cause it has that gold undertone. So I'm just, yeah, like I thought. look i'm all done hope you guys enjoyed it um <clears throat> give this video a thumbs up again always subscribe because i will never give you a reason not to and uh comment down below let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see next